Hi, it's Tim from oraclebase.com. In this video, we'll demonstrate immutable tables introduced in Oracle Database 1911 and 21.3. An immutable table is a tamper proof insert only table with an associated table level and row level retention period. They're similar to blockchain tables, but the rows aren't changed using cryptographic hashes. To use immutable tables in 19c, we have to set the compatible parameter to 1911. The default is 19.0. I would think very carefully before making this change on a real system. With that said, let's look at immutable tables. The table creation looks similar to a regular table. In addition to adding the immutable keyword to the create table command, there are two immutable clauses. The no drop clause determines how long the table is protected from being dropped. No drop on its own means the table can never be dropped. No drop until number days idle means the table can't be dropped until no rows have been inserted for that many days. For test purposes, we'll set this to zero days idle. The no delete clause determines how long each row will be protected from deletion. No delete on its own means the rows are kept forever. No delete until number days after insert protects the rows for the specified number of days. The minimum is 16 days. We check the user tab calls view to show column details. We can see the four columns we asked for and 10 invisible columns. These match those used by blockchain tables, but only the creation time and user number columns are populated. The rest of the columns are set to null. The user immutable tables view displays information about the table. We can see the row retention and table inactivity retention settings. I'm not going to discuss altering the drop table clause because it's quite buggy in this release. Instead, we'll look at altering the row retention clause. We can increase the row retention value using the alter table command. Here we've changed it from 16 to 32. We can't reduce the retention period though. When we try to reduce it back to 16, we get an error. This is a tamper proof insert only table, so not surprisingly, we can insert data into it. If we try to amend the data in the table, we get an error. Here we attempt to update the data and we get an operation not allowed on blockchain or immutable table error. We attempt to delete some data and we get the same error. Not surprisingly, we're also prevented from using the truncate table command. We can increase the size of a column, but we're not allowed to drop or add columns. Here we try to add a new column and we see the operation is not allowed. We try to drop a column and we get the same error. The DBMS immutable table package is used for maintenance of immutable tables. The delete expired rows procedure removes any rows that are beyond the retention period. They can't be removed using a normal delete statement. We tell it the schema name and table name and it returns the number of rows deleted. We output the value and can see in this case no rows were deleted. Immutable tables are quite a niche feature. But if you want a tamper-proof insert-only table, you might want to consider them. If you want the added security of cryptographic hashes, you might want to consider blockchain tables instead. Thanks for watching. As always, there are links to articles containing lots more information about this subject in the description box below.